Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to RT Share Tea, where respiratory therapists live out loud. With me, your host, Linda Fry, the asthma lady. Yes. Welcome everybody. Welcome to anybody new. And ooh, just want to say thank you to Kimberly Smith, who was our guest co-host last week and who was very informative on what what how is it to be uh ecmo specialist and she really shared her perspectives and gave us a uh, overview of like how the assignment looks and everything and for me she was dropping the gems so i hope that episodes like that help you to consider um, for anybody that's looking to transition or to do something new in the healthcare field as a respiratory therapist you will consider uh, positions like that so that's the purpose of those type of segments and let me know if you're interested to be on to share your perspectives and different roles that um that you play and um yeah you could be a guest co-host so thank you kimberly great episode okay so this week oh yes and by the way guys sorry for the incognito look um i'm running around with the baby today and i just said okay let me hurry up jump on the mic and um speak to the people uh, this morning um so basically this episode we are talking about uh work-life balance and does this thing really exist <laughs> especially for those in the healthcare field um so just to share a little bit on my perspective for those who are new to this channel and you know i have made spoke about this um in earlier episodes but uh so i'm basically a new mom i've had i'm having children older um not by choice but by god's design but we are very happy to have finally our miracle baby so once i had the baby mind you having a baby during the pandemic time is his own experience they really need to do some type of support group for mothers that have babies during the pandemic time because that's its own thing and so recently i had to announce that i resigned from my position as the asthma program director um this is a position that i love and i love what i do um it's just that i was consistently just trying to figure out the work-life balance and i think while i was pregnant i just thought that i'm a very stable person and i'm a planner and i just assumed that i would have it all together and i as i went back to work six months after having my baby going back into the work field i realized that i did not <laughs> so i did not have secure um child care and although i do have a tight support system and I'm very blessed to have that. I have a, my family is amazing and they love Logan. They take such good care of him. It's just that the distance between work and all these different settings, um, you know, I mean, going to all my family members homes, it, it just was taking a toll on me. And, um, you know, my schedule kept shifting. And once again, when you add in the pandemic, think about it. If someone sneezes three times, and, and they get a positive COVID test, can't bring the baby over there. And so now I have to shift my whole week. My baby kept getting fevers every week. He was having like a low grade fever or these nasty coughs, And it's just like, you know, they were indoors and now just getting them, you know, outdoors. So it, it was, it it is challenging. And so what, what, what i have figured out for myself is that um life it's it's i don't think you can have well let me speak for myself i was driving myself crazy with trying to balance everything out and, and in actuality for me i believe i'm playing jenga 
<laughs> you know the game Jenga where you pull the, you know, the bricks, so you're using the same pieces and you're just moving them on top and on top. So you, I'm trying to, you know, level up in the career and everything else and be the best all that I can be. And I'm moving the pieces higher and higher hoping that this thing does not fall or topple over. So I'm trying to move the right pieces. And um, ultimately, what I've discovered that is when the pieces fall, right? When the pieces fall, I mean, you can build back again. So that's just kind of like where I'm at. And I ultimately made the decision that um, I'm not looking for work-life balance anymore. I'm looking for, and I cannot remember his name. Um, shoot, when I think of it, I, I'll, I'll repeat it on the next episode, I get, I guess. But he's a, a speaker on just like um, memory, Jim Quick, or sick. Okay, anyway, I'll give it to you when I get it. So boom, so he was talking about how we want life to look like a symphony. And I think that's the route that I'm going. Like, and what he was saying is like, you just want things to just be working in harmony. So, you know, you the violin plays when it's supposed to play, the piano plays, and then when the the, the trumpet is supposed to, 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 to play, everything sounds beautiful because it's just it's it's working at the time that it's supposed to go on so to me i i think this is where i am in in life and um you know i've, I've had to come to realize um you know when it's time to transition to something else and this is not the first time i've had a hard time accepting okay it's it's we are being pushed in another direction, whether we like it or not. Um, and I think as a leader, you know, I did have a team under me. As a leader, you have to know when it's your time to step aside and allow someone else to take over or shine or just pass the baton. And um, so when I knew, when I came back from maternity leave, from having my miracle baby, the baby they told me I would never have, <laughs> or, you know, but that's a whole nother episode. Um, I, I came back to work and I started, started to see, okay, well, how long can I do this for? You know, I'm shuffling this baby from house to house and he needs me. My parents are aging. They need me. You understand? So I went, I, w I went on vacation to Costa Rica for my birthday. And while I was looking at the beautiful ocean, blue water, serene, I was just making life decisions and I just realized, okay, I have to transition. So I didn't want to flat leave anybody. I made sure I started to tell staff way in advance, even when I came back from maternity leave, um, listen, I'm cross training everybody. I almost want everyone to function as if I wasn't there. And I think, of course, as I was saying that they knew I was phasing out. I was preparing to phase out and sail into the sunset, right? But I wanted to make sure they were good. It would make me sleep well at night knowing that everyone still had their jobs and everybody was just flourishing in their own right. So I just made sure to, I, I continued to push them out there. I promote the program as much as I, I could and the accolades and everything we have done and just making sure the partnership Ships remained in place and um and yeah and 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 that was it I, I I made sure to one whole year of making sure to just pump that positive energy into the program my team um into our the partnerships and and, and everything and ultimately I think I left in the best way possible um for 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 me and for the the, the team um and 
I was doing good, you know, and like I said, I liked what I do. Um, but, you know, kind of like how Oprah left the Oprah Winfrey show after 25 years, you know, she was just like, yeah, she knew it was her time. She was at the top and she knew it was her time um, to move on to something else. And not to say I'm, I'm not saying I'm Oprah <laughs> or anything like that. I'm just saying that I knew that I was going in the right direction. We were doing good. I was doing good, but I also knew it was my time to transition and create this symphony that I'm looking for, right? So I'm on the path. So right now, um, I think my, my violin is playing right now. Um, and I, uh, uh, my piano is about to come in. So we, we, we about to make beautiful music together, guys. So uh, just hang in there with me. We are growing together. Yes, 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 yes. So much more content to come. So many, many guest speakers to come. And, you know, I hope you learned something from me today. Oh, let me not forget um, that um, I'm speaking April 12th at the RT Navigator Peer Health Spring Seminar. So come get your CEU. Six CEUs is virtual. I'll have I'll have it in the description below. All right, guys. So thank you for being here with me. We are here every Wednesday on most Google podcast platforms. And we are here on YouTube every Thursday. Remember, guys, to invest in yourself and to only compete with yesterday's version of you. All right, everyone. Bye.